advisor to the electrons group mr sabas achi hajra with us right now uh, thank you so much for being a part of the conference mr hajra we have a couple of questions for you that we would really appreciate if you could answer the first one is that how do you foresee the future of the indian shipping industry the indian shipping industry is going through a rough patch just like almost the entire global shipping industry and the added problem for indian shipping industry is that the total market cap of the indian shipping is not even 2 billion dollars whereas if you want to increase the level of participation of indian flag into the carriage of indian exim trade you have to invest close to 20 30 billion dollars so the funding is a huge issue uh, i understand that government is looking seriously at it and particularly for the most important cargo that is the crude oil the petroleum ministry and shipping ministry is trying to work out some kind of package where indian ship owners get advantage of soft loan and there are long term contracts awarded to the indian shipping companies by the oil indian oil majors and i think only through such efforts the indian shipping industry can really look forward to a proper growth sure the second question is that what are your your views about the growth of seaborne transportation of chemical and gas tanker trade in india LNG has a very very bright future in India because India the demand for gas is growing at a much much faster pace than the production of gas indigenous gas in India so India will have to depend on imported LNG for a long time similarly the LPG also is a very very promising sector because there will be more and more gas connection domestic gas connection to the domestic houses so obviously the lpg demand is also going to really pick up in india so i see a lot of potential for the gas market similarly even for chemical it is very very much linked to the aspiration of the people and to the growth of indian economy and as we all know india is one of the fastest growing major economies in the world and the aspiration of indian people is growing when you have a very low base for the per capita income obviously the growth is much higher so similarly the volume of chemicals per capita consumed by indian population is going to grow at a very fast pace which augurs very well for that chemical tanker market as well the last question is that what are the new opportunities that come with the increase of ship recycling as a result of influx vessels being scrapped india in any case is one of the major destinations for ship demolitions along with of course pakistan bangladesh and now turkey is also coming up i am very happy that the shipyards at alang they are really trying to become environmental friendly they are getting certification from nk and other class uh, organizations saying that they are in compliance with the hong kong convention though the hong kong convention is yet to come into force but as a proactive measure the indian uh, scrapping industry they are trying to make their yards uh, compliant with the requirement of the international regulations and particularly the european ship owners are also becoming more and more strict so i do hope that the future for the uh, scrapping industry the ship recycling industry in india is also very bright sure thank you so much for your time mr hajra